Friends have identified the man who died in yesterday's Makiki fire as 49-year-old Alvin Asakura. They say he lived to be a great father, and they're heartbroken for the daughter he leaves behind. Sarah Madison joins us with more. Sarah? Joe, fire officials tell us when they responded to the fire alarm, they knew someone was trapped inside the unit where the fire started. They battled the flames to get to the victim, but it was too late. Friends have been sharing their condolences over social media and are holding on to the good memories they have of Alvin Asakura. Alvin was really a very gentle person. And he was not concerned about money. He was not concerned about impressing people. Jarrett Yoshida has known Asakura since ninth grade when they went to Punahou School together. Yoshida says he noticed something different about Asakura when his daughter was born. That's when I realized he was meant to be someone's dad. He changed, and he became a really dedicated father. Asakura was found in the bedroom of the fourth floor unit where the fire started. There are fire alarms in the building with manual pull stations. Fire safety measures former firefighter Captain Richard Sue says are important to know. Once you move into a building or a home, especially nowadays with the high-rise buildings, you, wanna, you would want to consider whether it's sprinkled or it's not sprinkled. Sue says if you're trapped and there's no way out, shutting the doors will help. By shutting the doors, it contains the fire to one room. If you can, make your way to the safest place in your home, the bathroom. The bathrooms are, um, have the siding, you know, the tile around. They're, they're inherently uh, a safe room to be in. Plus, there's a water so source in the tub. You would shut this door and you would seal it. You would get towels and seal it from, from the inside here. You want to be talking to uh, 911 the whole time. You want to let them know where you are. We called a HFD for updates, but have not gotten any yet. We'll follow up and let you know what happens. Joe? Thank you, Sarah.